Hi, I'm Dr. Cindy Ross, and this is Vita. Today's topic is on mental health, and I thought that I would show you a glimpse of my daily routine. So, as many of you know through the years, I have been a workaholic, which meant every bit of 18 hours per day, drinking more than a pot of coffee in 24 hours, and taking absolutely no time for self-care. So, I decided this was my year to take control over my physical and mental health. I adopted a new routine which includes reading, journaling, meditation, and yoga. Vita comes along with me a lot of times. Um, I still hit the gym, but my main focus is about living the best quality of life and getting my, my body back into a state of balance with zero joint pain. So today, I wanted to discuss ways that you can also achieve balance in your life. First and foremost, you need to know where you stand with your blood work to see if you're deficient. I was very deficient in January in many different nutrients. Vitamin D, vitamin K, B complex, low zinc, high copper, magnesium, and my omega-3s. So ways to get more of these in your lifestyle. Vitamin D, of course, getting more sun. Um, I try to get 30 to 45 minutes a day when I can. Um, no sunscreen, just absorbing the sun. Um, also fish such as salmon, I try to get in one to two servings a week at least in. Uh, vitamin K, it can be found in any dark leafy greens. Also, I've talked about this before. If you're low in zinc, it can cause anxiety. Magnesium is another one. If you're deficient, it can also add to anxiety and depression. So make sure that you're also getting in your omegas for brain health. Eating fish high in EPA and DHA also will do the trick, such as salmon. And remember, your gut has to be balanced for you to absorb these vital, vital nutrients. So you gotta remember, you are what you eat and you gotta put the good stuff in to get the good stuff out. So now let's talk about your daily routine. You're in control of your life and remember every choice that you make affects your mental health. So we have to work, clean, cook, work out, take care of our family members. These are just a few things that we have to do every single day. And it's, it's very easy to get overwhelmed. Believe me, I was there last year juggling work and medical boards. I found myself 50, 60 pounds overweight. It happens. It can feel impossible to mark everything off your to-do list, especially if you're struggling with a mental health condition like major depression, substance use, traumatic stress disorder, by establishing a daily routine, we can set aside time to take care of tasks and focus on our mental and physical health. It takes 21 days to form a new habit, and that is the, that goes for the same for a routine. So if you set and stick to a new plan for three weeks, there's a good chance that you'll stick to the routine for a long time. My mornings start out mostly with sunrise readings and they end with sunsets. When it comes to mental health, Here's how, to, here's how a daily routine can make a significant difference. Stick to a morning routine, avoid hitting the snooze button, take periodical breaks throughout the day, schedule time to be alone. I love my alone time. Take note of one important thing, what you're grateful for. Stop work at the same time every day. Make yourself held accountable. Additionally, set aside time to focus on your physical health. You don't need to spend hours in the gym every day to enjoy the benefits of exercise. I've cut mine in half. 30, 45 minutes a day, I'm out. If you're short on time, scheduling a few minutes of high intensity interval training can boost your self-esteem, improve your mood, and provide numerous mental health benefits according to the National Institute of Mental Health. While routines can improve your mental health and provide wide-reaching psychological benefits from alleviating symptoms of mental disorders to managing insomnia, they aren't a cure-all for mental health issues. In addition to creating a routine, individuals experiencing mental health symptoms should explore other treatment options, including therapy. I'm a huge advocate for therapy. Therapy has helped me many times throughout my life and throughout my marriage. Working with a qualified therapist, psychologic, psych, psychologist, clinical social worker, or mental health counselor can help you with mental illness. You can learn your valuable coping mechanism, managing your symptoms, and build resilience. As one of the most effective forms of psychotherapy, 
Cognitive behavioral therapy helps patients take control of their emotional health by changing patterns of thoughts and behaviors. If you have any questions or if you're ready to get started, call my office at 251-949-2220 or visit my website at lifewellnessforever.com. Make sure to tune in to Health Buzz on Apple Podcasts with me as your host next Wednesday, and I'm going to dive deeper into the benefits of mental health and changing your lifestyle. Thanks for always tuning in. Have a great day.